Welcome back guys, this is Carter from BBT. I'm gonna give you a quick update for YouTube with relation to the Ethereum development call that was today. I was fortunate enough to be on that call to provide a status update of where ProgPal sets with regards to the technology stack, the 0.93 update, and what's the new baseline that's out there, and what's going on with the status being accepted on the Ethereum side. Um, I had a small talking piece there, and all I did is inform the dev community kind of where everything is sitting with regards to right now, meaning we have a 0 0.94 update. So 0 0.93 is what was built, what was in all the clients, what was tested on the test net for Ethereum, and then what's been kind of setting in the accepted status. Uh, there was two issues that were found with 0 0.93. Part of it from the light evaluation attack, part of the uh, audit that was done, where we had to address some settings in ProgPow, um, which now has a pull request, meaning that there, it's already been fixed. It's setting out there to be pulled into a new baseline. And then there was a kick, um, which is called KIK, uh, was a person that found an uh, issue with uh, ProgPow, had brought it up, and then that's also been fixed. So there's two fixes setting out there. This would effectively make something called a 094 update for that baseline. Um, so that was the technical status. So the bottom line, 0 0.94 needs to be the new baseline. New binaries need to be created and then people can do the setup and testing uh, related to that. Uh, the next part of that call was a discussion of, with regards to like, where do we go from here? Like, what's the next steps? Obviously it's been two years. The community does not want, they do not feel that there's a big issue right now with, um, uh, prog pal going on to mainnet so what do we do from this point so right now what i had suggested is that 0 0.93 is obe meaning like um it is no longer applicable given the situation um with regards to the risk of ethereum's network being overran by asics and um you know fpgas and stuff at this time uh there's not saying that there isn't fpgas and asics on there it's just saying clear and present danger is hard to establish with regards to you can still mine with a GPU. Uh, I think that's, I mean, being straight up and honest with everybody, obviously you can do the math yourself. You can mine Ethereum right now with a normal GPU. It's not super profitable. It's not super competitive. However, you still can do it. So the next steps are very simple to me. Get 094 out to a test net, get it tested, make sure everybody knows how that they can get it set up and configured and we as the community know that it's out there and that it ends up serving as a poison pill. So we need to make sure that we support what's going on with the current development of that and the current test net development of that. As miners, we need to test it, make sure things are good to go, and then let the community know that, hey, this is what, this is the poison pill if somebody does something nefarious, you know, to Ethereum and we get a whole bunch of unknown hash rate, not on pools, kind of what's essentially happened to like the Ravencoin network. So that's the current status. So testnet is the first thing. Um, 094 is the baseline and then get an agreement with all of the different Ethereum clients. So we're talking the Parity, Open, Ethereum, Ethermore, uh, Geth. Get everybody up to speed on 094 and get it on a testnet. If we can collectively get everybody to do that, I think we'll be in a position that is that is healthy with regards to where the development stack sits and we get where miners understand that, you know, if we fill the network and we can see like nothing, like none of us can participate anymore because there's all this crazy hash going uh, up and it makes no sense that the price isn't going up and like it just completely pushes GPU miners out. There's a, a trigger that can be activated to then get us to that space. So that is where I think everything's at. I plan to be available for any other dev calls if people need it. Um, and just trying to represent ProgPal as a co-chair on it for the community and get us a path that isn't just, it's accepted and not moving anywhere. So hopefully this wasn't too chatty. Hopefully you guys could hear me. Um, I'm trying to get some stuff ready for out here because I'm trying to enjoy the outside with the family. Um, and yeah, you guys just hang out. I'll try to get some more videos out. Hopefully this is okay. Peace.